name is uh, Rolf Sachs. We're here in St. Moritz uh, for the Art Masters 2013, where I'm presenting a conceptual photography project uh, in conjunction with Leica. Photography is, uh, of course, omnipresent. Uh, people have uh, great difficulty even uh, making the distinction between art photography and normal photography. And uh, I think that photography will have a great future and there will be a lot of, a lot of new ways to use photography as a medium to express creativity. I chose the Engadin. It was sort of uh, an obvious, I was brought up here. My family comes up here since uh, decades, nearly since the early 20th century. I went to school here and have, of course, a very strong emotional tie. It's a project which uh, is done on a train. It's a very famous train line between Kur, St. Moritz, going down to it Italy over the Bernina Pass to Tirano. My overall intention and what I always try to do in the creativity is also to find the new. What is something different? Where can one add something yeah, to a certain view? The camera is static in the train and it's just a train moving. And uh, with that you get a certain dynamic to the picture, you add a certain layer. And the one thing I didn't think in the beginning when I thought about it, I didn't conceptualize it, is that there will be a very interesting optic in the curve. And as this train ride runs through the mountains, there's a lot of turns. And in these turns, when you take a long exposure, the focus changes that much that you only have a sharpness in one dot or one point of the picture, which gives it a very, very surprising aspect that people don't realize how is this done. Most people who came to the exhibition now thought that most of the effects which are done here are done basically with Photoshop or afterwards. And in fact, everything is straight out of the camera and nothing is done on Photoshop. I really think that the camera first, it is very, very simple and easy to use for a camera of that quality. The one thing which normally is the other way around, as we use long exposures, the camera is nearly too perfect because it has such an incredible light strength. So we always use, have to use a dark filter in front of it yeah, to uh, be able to lower our exposure time. And what will be fantastic, of course, always for a project like this, that you will be able to blow it up and you never have to compromise on the quality.